is Be More Lifestyle. All right, it's time to spill the tea this Thursday. Lady T is back now. And you say a whole lot of Jeopardy fans are pretty upset, right? Mm-hmm. So Jeopardy fans are calling for a boycott as Dr. Oz becomes the guest host um, of uh, Jeopardy. Now, there was some backlash over his anti-science statements that he made. Some of the controversial comments include legitimizing gay conversion therapy, cures for autism, and touting this treatment, this weird treatment for COVID-19. Oh, my goodness. That Which the... Which the um, who is strongly against. So it's, I don't know. I, what happened to old Dr. Oz? You know, the trustworthy man who we all turn to because Oprah told us to. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know what he's getting into now. What do you think, Brandy? Well, so I, I was actually, I had to follow up. I didn't know what he said that, uh, mm -hmm. that got him into the hot water. So I think, I think people get really comfortable in their celebrity, right? And right. so then I think, I, I just think that's it. And that's what mm -hmm. he believes. So he said it. I guess. Well, okay. All right. Moving on. More tea. Mike Tyson is producing a limited series about his life starring Jamie Foxx. In a statement he released on Monday, Tyson said, I've been looking to share my story for quite some time. He hopes to create a series that's not only uh, uh, able to capture his professional and personal journey, but also inspire and entertain people. He also announced he's going to be fighting Evander Holyfield on May 29th, so it's going to be a great ear-biting of a time, I'm sure. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, what an honor for Jamie Foxx. That has to be that he was, like, hand-picked by Mike Tyson to right. play himself. That's awesome. And then the fight, I mean, hey, I'm looking forward to it. Look, the last one, they didn't disappoint. They I'm did looking not for disappoint. a knockout. I'm looking for a knockout, no. Brady. No, you're I not a knockout. See. No. Because they ain't getting up. The grandpas yeah, ain't getting yeah, up. Yeah, not at their age. I don't want to <laughs> see a knockout, but... It's going to be a slap fight? fight? You want to be a slap fight? never disappoint. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Up next, the tea continues. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding certificate proves that they got married at St. George's Chapel on May 19th and not three days before. The news comes two weeks after they made the comments in their chat uh, with Oprah. Uh, I'm going to let you know right now, I don't even care, honestly, <laughs> when they got married, okay? I, the wedding was for me. I loved it. It was fabulous. Prince Harry just recently got two new jobs, so I feel like she's secure. We're good, okay? Yeah, and, and uh, that's just the date when the clergy signed it. It's still, mm -hmm. I mean, so what, are they saying that she wasn't telling the truth when they the, said I think that that's they what had a ceremony I think they're, they're looking to make sure, make sure they're telling her, like, basically that she wasn't telling the truth, but she is telling the truth. I mean, it's fine. The I feel like it's going to okay. match the story, right? right? Nobody was supposed to know that she so. Anyway. Don't rile me up because you know that's my favorite couple. But that's it for the tea I thought that I, was I have. Your favorite couple. Okay. What? You know, you're my boo. I love you, girl. Okay. <laughs> all right. So next time, you guys, keep on sipping on all that tea.